Okay, so now 56. Uh, which of the following does not define a metric? So remember, the metric contains three properties. One is metric need to be symmetric. Second is uh, metric need to be larger than zero. And uh, if dxy is zero, implies x equals y. And the third one is dxy plus dyz need to larger than dxz. <laughs> Triangular inequality. Okay. So the first one A. So A is the uh, standard uh, delta matrix. So basically you can see the three properties are also uh, holds so the a choice is very easy okay so b is also you can see that the b fix this uh, has this property and the b also has these properties and uh, you can check that b contains the third properties okay and the c choice S uh, for c choice c choice is very easy because you just simply scale the matrix okay so the difficult part is like a d okay so I will check D for you guys. So D says that this is. So the first one is OK. The second one is OK, right? Because when D x, y equals 0, it implies that the x minus y is 0. So basically, we have x equal to y. So the difficult part is the third part. OK, so we need to see where this this formula is, is, is valid uh, to do this then we need to check that uh, hmm, we need to check that this plus this uh, plus one is larger than the right hand side hmm Uh, how to do this? Okay, so uh, uh, a fact is that uh, x divided by x has has one property that uh, when x increase, then the then this term increase. So when x increase, then function of x increase. So 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 that means uh that that means. Uh, since we already know that, suppose that we already know the absolute value contains the has the, this uh, factorization problem uh, has this triangulated inequality. So, so if we start from this one, then. Uh, I can write it as this. Mm. Mm, let me see. Hmm. Oh. Okay. So this term was smaller than x minus y plus one minus plus y. So this is y minus z was smaller than one plus. Alright. So basically, uh, this term is dxy. Uh, this is dyz. Okay. So. But this term, this term. So we know that the uh, x minus y plus y minus z will larger than x minus z. So from the fact that uh, when x increase, the uh, function of x increase, this term will larger than the 
x minus z, one minus x minus z. So combine this one and the right hand side of and the right hand side. And we can prove that uh, d x z is more than d x y plus d y z. Done. Okay, so the reason the answer is e. The answer is e. And the e as e define this w be the x minus y squared. Uh, this is definitely cor uh not correct. I mean you can check that whether this you can check whether for all x y z belongs to r this equality holds uh, inequality holds. You can check that this is definitely not correct. Suppose if it holds, then we have we just expand it. Okay, so uh, and uh, I can let y to be zero just to check that whether the identity so when y equals zero we have this we have this in e equality set uh, minus two xz is smaller than zero this means xz need to be not uh, greater than zero so so that means I if xz is smaller than zero then this equality uh, inequality will not hold so that means for all x y z belongs to r this cannot be a matrix because the triangular inequality cannot be correct so the answer is, is definitely E